he had a a slogan that he, he etched on the the mirrors in the trailer in the lounge and it and the title of it was passion and he wrote that there are a lot of things in life that'll capture your eye, but there's only a few that'll capture your heart. I don't even know what to say. You better get a lot of tape, because I got a lot of words. The 33-year-old racer died as a result of a closed head injury suffered in a testing accident. March 19th, following the Gator Nationals. It's an incident that no one wants to remember that claimed the life of a man no one will forget. One of my first memories was I was walking up to the announcement of uh, here's your son or your daughter, and they had a little badge on the bassinet or whatever that they're in. And just as I got there, the doctor flipped it over and said, it's a boy. That was my first recollection of uh, realization that uh, a son was born. So as a little guy, he was a uh, happy baby. I mean, happy, happy all the time. Uh, he was, uh, I think he was teaching me from day one. So, so you think you could tell. called me one day and said, Dad, I want to go out on the road with you. I want to work on these race cars. I said, man, no, you, this isn't a very good life. I said, you, you're you gone from home. He says, I understand all that. He says, I'll put it to you this way. He says, I want to come out on the road and I want to work for you. If that's not possible, then I will try to find a place that I can go to work. I said, well, can you leave tomorrow? Being able to be in the same place um, with your son and being able to enjoy every day of life working together and doing what you both love to do, I don't think there's anything else you could ask for in life that would be better than that. You know, it, it's kind of a big deal from the outside, inside. Just get that mother stop and get out and plug old AAA for the insurance that's going to pay for this Syntec Mustang. <clears throat> Takes it to the starting line, he steps on the gas, he gets out about half track and shuts it off and the car starts drifting over your left hand lane, starts drifting over the right hand lane and pretty close to guardrail. We're on the radio, so Eric, he said the steering wheel came off. Big advantage sells him. But he's up in smoke. And Eric uh, I can't believe this, you know. So anyway, the wind light comes on and of course it's a tremendous celebration and that's probably one of the most gratifying it is. It is by far the most gratifying wins I've ever had because you realize that not only your son, but this individual got a chance to realize a dream that maybe only a dozen people in the world get a chance to realize. Got the starting line like normal, made a couple of little moves, and instantly the car exploded. And I don't mean that it just parts came off, but it exploded, looked like a nuclear attack, and then made a hard right hand turn up against the guardrail. I'll never forget there was a, a young girl in the ambulance, and they, were, they put him in the ambulance. The first thing she did was shine the flashlight in his eyes, and she took that flashlight. And threw it out the ambulance. Eric Spirit came to me and he said, just the way he said things, you know, it was, it was him. It was really, he said, Dad, he said, I can't stay. He said, they're not going to be able to fix me. He said, my body is shot. He said, it's too tore up. He said, they're not going to be able to fix me. He said, I can tell you this, it's a wonderful place. Well, if you were to prevent Eric from making that particular run, would there be another run that that would happen on? Was that situation going to occur either to him or someone else? And when you look at the parts and the pieces and you analyze all that, I really feel strongly that that would have happened to somebody else. So, that, and that, <clears throat> that accident changed uh, 
Eric's accident changed us all uh, dramatically because we realized that lightning can strike you. And if you think your friend's going to be uh, terminally ill and you're not, you better think again.